For the past four years, every year, I have planned a GWG Ladies Week. And this year is no different, except for that we decided to do something a little bit different and um, invite our husbands along for the trip. So instead of a regular GWG Ladies Week, we're doing GWG Couples and Ladies Week. Uh, several of our friends decided to bring their husbands on the trip. Some were hunting and we also had some ladies who came as well by themselves. It's been incredible. We've been staying in Paia, Maui, and it's just beautiful here. We were able to not only enjoy hunting and access deer, but we're able to really just spend time with our family and friends and vacation here in paradise. When we planned this hunt last September, October, I was not expecting um, to be pregnant. I was hoping, but it wasn't really, not at least this far along. So I've only got seven more weeks until the baby comes. Just kind of want to let you know <laughs> what you're dealing with. I know we kind of talked about it over the phone, but mostly, um, you know, I've been having contractions and stuff. So the major hiking will probably be a little bit off for me, yeah. <laughs> but I do know that, um, you know, and laying on my stomach prone, that's gonna be something that's gonna be hard. And I know we need to get good shots and they're gonna be further shots. So you just have to work with me on that. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> I know you took your daughter hunting oh, yeah. before yeah. pregnant. She, she was, was about seven yeah. months. And okay. She did a crawl and still scolds me to this day. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing. It's just nothing's comfortable getting up, getting down, laying in one position for a long time to be hard. Uh, so I just wanted to give you that fair warning, but since you've you've done this before, I think that makes it easier. I feel like sometimes, uh, you know, with pregnancy, I don't want to stop. I love to hunt. And so the only thing I had to do was move this hunt up a month because my doctor looked at me like I was crazy <laughs> that I was going to go in my eighth month of pregnancy. So we're in seventh month and I think it's going to be great. I think we're not going to have any problems. We just work with me and <laughs> I might have to go a little slower sometimes. Well, I give you credit. It's just, you know, it's great you get out here and do your thing. Yeah. Yeah. I, I love to hunt and there's no reason for me to stop until I have to. And the biggest thing will be just to take one ethical shot and yep. not have to shoot again. Well, we'll try to get set up, get a nice set up. And there's some nice vantage points that we can kind of get up in glass and That'd be try to intercept the herds. Okay. We'll go have fun out there. I know. I'm ready. Let's do it. All right. So I'm trying to get sighted in and as you can tell, we have, I'm guessing around 25 mile an hour winds. Um, one of the biggest things that is the struggle is that mostly with the axis deer, they shoot prone. And as you can tell, not going to be shooting prone on this trip. So I'm just doing a couple different seated positions, seeing how I feel and um, just we're we're gonna we're gonna do this. I'm um, seven and a half months pregnant, and uh, this is the furthest along in my pregnancy that I've ever shot. I didn't I did not hunt this far along with Liv, so it's exciting. It's something different, and I just want to try it. And I think it's gonna be really great. <laughs> Is it still low? I do not see it. So we're struggling just a little bit because we're at 100 yards and I'm shooting low. Um, Pat says that the humidity will make a difference. And if you guys can't tell, uh, these winds are crazy right now. It's not normally this windy, but uh, not ideal for sighting in your rifle and checking it, but we're gonna get it done. So Pat just spotted a buck in like 300 yards over here. We haven't been out very long, but no, so that's pretty lucky. He's like, okay. I mean, with, um, like we have the infant with us now. Yes. This is so awesome because I don't have to take a hike. He's <laughs> right around the gym. It's like the best thing ever. I think the hardest part for me is going to be just set up and like getting comfortable. We've had horrible wind. Horrible wind. 270. Can't tell us about, tell us about that deer. Just on 
this year? Yeah. He was like 20, well, there's four bucks, but he, the biggest one was like 27. You know, just, okay. like, just a not bad buck. But um, the, the bucks are just starting to break out of their bachelor herds, you know, mm -hmm. from being in velvet. And they're just starting to kind of join with some of the does. But I always say a good half of them are still in bachelor herds. And until they start kind of polishing, then once they get hard antlered and start polishing, then they really join up with the does. And you know, you'll start seeing two, three, four bucks per herd of does. Okay. When it gets hard, you know, this time of year, they're still not quite with the does. They're just joining. Okay. So. got a herd of about a hundred and there's at least three nice shooters in there. So we're gonna try and get around. That was a really awesome stock. I have never seen access deer until today. And I'm really excited to the fact that we saw 200 ish access deer. And you said there was about 94 bucks yeah, in that herd. Yeah, a bunch. Yep. And Incredible. some good ones. There was really some really nice ones. bucks in there. Yeah, I was, I was getting really excited and the adrenaline had me pumping. So I wasn't worried and I actually was able to keep up. So I was happy about that because I wasn't sure. That was impressive. You did good. <laughs> yeah, you're booking a crosshair. I was worried. I was like, let me be your Sherpa. I'll just carry everything. I don't want you doing anything. I know. I was grateful. <laughs> I want your husband to like me at the end of this and not watch this and be like, what did you let my wife do? <laughs> well, when you get there, it's like you say, you know, you all those instincts kicked yeah. in and I was just I'm like okay let's relevant. hunt we're ready to hunt yeah I loved it I really love being out here and it's so gorgeous um starting to rain on us a little bit and it feels amazing except for you're bundled up and I'm in a short sleeve it's okay I'm not <laughs> as warm as you are <laughs> but it's it's the only place I think I've ever hunted where you can see the ocean like while you're hunting which right. is really spectacular and it's it's it feels like you're in Jurassic Park hunting. Yeah. Like there's so much diverse terrain here. From it really is. The rainforest down to this desert kind of Sahara landscape. And, and lots of lava rock. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. I tripped over a few, but <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, but the you tall grass. Yeah. yeah. You know, you can't hiking. see it as much. Yeah, that's what's tricky. Yeah. And then when we popped that one, um, that little group up, I thought we were blown, but yeah. they started making that noise, yeah, just like blowing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a loud bark. That's yeah. a warning bark. You could tell. I mean, you went down and we all just yeah. kind of hunkered down. Looking well, it's good it. to get you guys out here. I know. I've been waiting for this hunt for a couple years now, so I'm excited that we're here. I'm just excited I got to tag along. Yeah. <laughs> get to be there on both. Here I am. Yeah. yeah. This is good. So we have a good plan for in the morning. I'm yeah, excited. We do. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully they'll just feed down in the morning and we'll be able to set up where yeah, you we'll set up. Yeah, we'll try intercept them. Mm -hmm. yep. That'll be great. Catch them going to their bedding. Let's do it.
his lead. Danny? Yep. I got him. Yes! Oh my yes! Nice. Okay, oh yeah. Oh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I tell you what, you're stealthy for a pregnant lady. <laughs> I could not get comfortable for oh, nothing. Man. This belly was in the way. Oh, that was awesome. <sighs> Oh my gosh. I started. Look at this. You could hear my heart beating. I get really, really excited. If you can see my, do you like my uh, buck fever? <laughs> I started shaking because I was so excited. Tell you what, let's drop on the spot. Yeah, he did. So he either broke his shoulder or maybe high shoulder. But let's go down so we can keep an eye on him. Okay. Because I'm sweating. Oh, yeah, that was cool. That was cool. Oh, yeah. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. The white belly is a good sign. Thanks for putting up with the pregnant lady. <laughs> you did awesome. You did really good. Once that adrenaline kicks in, you just... Oh, man. I was like... We're going, just let me get a solid <laughs> shot. Because I felt really good. I just needed to get in closer to those rocks. You had, you had several positions that I was wondering how you did it. Well, you heard me grunting and you're all, <laughs> I love you all. Are you okay? I'm like, I'm okay. I'm just grunting. <sighs> oh, oh. That's awesome. Right, Jen. Congratulations. I'm so excited. Thank you. He's beautiful. I've never been up close to one. Oh my gosh. Let me just again safe. Oh. 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 My gosh. Wow, they are so gorgeous. He's still in the velvet. Oh yeah. Yep. Well oh. done. I've never shot anything in the velvet before. Really? No. Wow. Oh. Man, he's a nice buck. Thank you for your life. Congratulations. Mm. I'm always so grateful. Yep. They feed my family. Yeah, and the meat, when in the velvet, they're fat and they're really good eating. Like, this is the best meat. That's what I hear. It's really good. We are going to enjoy you. Yeah, he's got big oh, wow. eye guards. You can tell he's an older buck. He's yep. beautiful. Yeah, and they can save it. So the, Taxidermist here that can save it. So. <laughs> I'm so excited. Well done. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad I was on the right deer. <laughs> oh, yeah. There it is. Yeah, you just dumped oh, it. Oh, yeah. Blew his shoulders out. 250? Two. Oh, we dialed down right before, but I couldn't get comfortable at all because it was just, well, you know. And then Danny said he could hear my heart through the mic. <laughs> I got excited. Awesome. Sorry, I had to take it. Aww. I'm so happy. Awesome. I just um, sent thank you. I sent Nur and Liv a, a picture of your buck, oh. and they sent this back. Tell her. Good job, mommy. <laughs> Good job, mommy. We're so proud of you. We're so proud of you. Oh, she's oh. my whole heart. <laughs> I have that one proud, and this one was kicking right before I took the shot. So. Aww. They're going to be little hunters. Your family loves you so much. I know. It makes me like. Well, they're here with you, so that's awesome. I know. Yeah.